Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Bioshock Infinite running on Intel HD 620 graphics. This is with a Core i3-7100U, and we're just playing through some of the early stages of the game here, where we've just rescued Elizabeth, and going through um, just exiting the tower or the statue and onto the, um, the sort of fly-through section here. And frame rates in the game, they tend to be a bit over 20 frames per second. I believe in the benchmark when I ran that, we averaged 30 frames per second through the test. Um, because there's quite a lot going on in this early stage, it does drop down a bit lower. But I was able to play through reasonably well, um, get through some of the combat. I'm only playing it on easy just to capture footage here. But, I, you know, you can see here we're up over 40 frames a second at times in some of the indoor environments as well. So it's a little bit variable, which isn't ideal, um, but the game is certainly playable. And this is at 1366 by 768 and the medium settings. Um, to get frame rates higher up, we could actually drop down to very low or low detail and uh, 720p or lower graphics as well. So if you've got Bioshock Infinite and want to give it a go on a KB Lake based system like the i3-7100U, you should have a playable experience on it. Uh, like I say, it's not going to be ideal, um, but it still doesn't look bad and frame rates are playable. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see more from us in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We've got plenty more videos we're sure you'll enjoy as well, looking at gaming on other platforms. And support us on Patreon if you want to have your say on what we test in the future. Thanks for watching.